Hello, Debbie crew. It's me, your big pal, John. And here's Grace. It's not ready for that intro. No one's ever ready for the intros, and that's okay. That's Whether you're ready or not, it happened. Here we go. Uh, so, yeah, today we are going to do our second box opening for Kamiyawa Neon Dynasty, the Dropped Boosters. Um, and... Uh, the sequel. The sequel. And you, you already kind of started without me, didn't you? I did. So uh, as an explanation for everyone, we're going to do this with the magic of technology, picture in picture, because yesterday I already opened, I already opened up the box. Um, part of the reality of having kids around to make sure that we get the box opening nice and smooth. So we're going to try it a bit different, where Grace has not seen any of the cards before. Nope. I do not remember everything that was opened because I'm not that kind of person. So we're going to be experiencing it like... 50% new on my end and 100% brand new on your end. I yeah. refuse to tell you anything that was happening with Nope, me. I have no idea what's coming. You asked so many times, I, I just told you, Grace, stop asking. It's, it's enough. We're going to find out tomorrow when we do it. Uh, so we're going to do it as a box opening that way. Um, so I have a question for all of you guys. If you can make sure that you like, subscribe, and actually comment on the video. If you like this particular setup, if you like us have having some commentary over the box opening so that it's nice and smooth, but one person opening it to get it through uh, the way that we're doing it this way, let us know. And if you don't like this type of format, let us know that too, so that we can do that, uh, or never do that particular type again. And we are going to actually watch it ourselves as we do the commentary. So if I have questions in real time, I can ask them to John, and he can share the answers. So if you're a beginner, me too. So hopefully some of the questions you might have as to why a card is good, why you might want it in your deck, why is it expensive, why is it useful, yes. those are the questions I'm going to ask you. And I will do my best to answer them, as I'm certainly not a professional player, but uh, I know what I like. And Kamigawa, good set. I like this one. All right, so are you ready to get started? I have been ready for days. Let's jump right in. All right. Beauty. Two thumbs up. That's what I give this set overall, two thumbs up. Excellent. Really set. Tap it to show its authenticity. You can see the wonderful Wizards plastic. That's how you know it's made by Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting that they actually stamped it on there, because, you know, when it's coming to you and somebody's shipping it and you don't know, it's, exactly. it's a little bit sketchy. It, it's always a little bit worrisome. Well, this one was not opened before we opened it, it appears. It appears that way, doesn't it? It does. Just wait till you get through it. Then. All right. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. All right, so 36 packs, right? 36 packs, because these are draft boosters, as you can see, we've written the a booster. That's different from like a box of set boosters when you might get more rares um, overall. That's actually typical with set boosters, which is a lot of where your money is going to be from it. Um, but draft boosters always have the same format, so you can draft with them. Makes sense. Right, like you can pass them around and people can take them. did they go. Exactly. Makes sense. I've only ever seen the draft on Arena, so I... Uh, and arena packs, when they're in draft, are a bit different than the packs that you would open, like if you buy packs. Oh, okay. Here too. Arena ones, I think, have eight cards. Oh, we'll weird. know that more as we get into the gaming part of our channel there, too. Right. So be, You're going to throw me stay, the... Stay tuned. Everybody. All right, so we are opening our first pack here. We're just kind of going flat past those commons and uncommons. Exactly. Um, there's our Saga card, Fall of Lord Conda. Right. What else here? So is this our first? This is our first rare, rare. but bum, 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 Ooh, oh, yeah. a foil mythic. Excellent. Mythic card, rarer than rare, and it's foil. Excellent. First pack, can't go wrong. Okay, so it's this one's a two-sided one, hey? It is, it's a saga. So in this particular set, not every saga works this way, but the sagas typically have for their third step, I think all of the ones in Kamigawa actually, that you exile it. And then you return it to the battlefield, transform, so it's the other side of the card. So, is that a blink? Uh, it's not exactly like a blink, so a blink would be... It's kind of the same format, but when you blink something, you're typically taking that card, you're having it leave the battlefield, and then the exact same card comes into the battlefield again. Okay. Um, so it's, it's very similar. Uh, any judge watching or something like that could probably comment and say, yes, this is Yes, let me know if John is wrong so I can so I can. Know. Please do. <laughs> She'll rub it in. I yeah. will never live it down. Years from now, we'll still be talking about the time I was wrong once. Oh. <laughs> All right, what else is happening here? There's our colossal sea turtle. There's our kiwi. Can't go wrong with the sea turtle. Yeah. Then we've got Eater of Virtue here as a legendary artifact equipment with a cool special border. 
Right, and you were telling me before uh, that equipment you can only is only useful if it's attached to a creature, right? Well, it can do things when it's out on the battlefield because it's still an artifact at that point. Okay. Um, so it could be useful. Maybe you have a card that cares about the number of artifacts you control, okay. or something like that, and yeah. that would still be useful. Okay. Um, so it doesn't just it doesn't die if the if it's attached to a creature and the creature dies? Uh, no, it doesn't. That's a cool thing with equipment. Okay. So uh, if unless it says differently on the card or something like that, that there's always an exception than some kind of magic art, but yeah. generally, if you kill the creature, it's like the creature dies and they just drop the sword or whatever, and then it's on the ground, and some other creature can come and pick it up. Look at that scrap welder. Scrap welder. Is that a that was a rare. That was a rare and, indeed. And we had our pretty full land. Uh, exactly. I, I keep meaning to look up. Someone comment what the type of art style is for the lands. I really like the art style. It's not always true to realism. I can find it difficult to tell what type of lands each one is sometimes. Um, it's easy if you know the symbol. So. That's very yeah, the mountains have gotten me a few times. But uh, otherwise, I really like the art style for them. They look really, really cool. All right, what else do we have here? Era of Enlightenment, there's another saga, but it looks like it's a common one. Yep. Yeah. Let me see here. Storyweed, Grave Lighter, Biting Palm Ninja, that's some freaky art. Exactly, look at his hand. And uh, that's there. a ninja. So you were telling me about ninjutsu. Yeah, so ninjutsu is Sorry. basically, I, I don't know, I'm probably not pronouncing it right. The ninjutsu ability is uh, essentially if you have that card in your hand mm -hmm. and you're attacking with a creature, let's say like a little token because it makes it more fun, okay. just something that someone would want to block with one of their creatures. If it's not being blocked, if it's going right into the opponent mm -hmm. and they've said, no, I'm not going to block that, you can pay the ninjutsu cost on a card that's in your hand already and you basically replace the creature, return that one to your hand, and now it's that ninja. Oh, so it's like spell. Yeah, it's, it's nice. so, okay. so, oh, you should have blocked it. That was the ninja all along. And typically those ninjas will do some kind of special thing when they do damage to a player. Okay. Fair so enough. It's, yeah, it's a sneak attack. Type foil, of foil, foil. It's a cool one. Kaido's Pursuit, yeah. running across roofs, parkour, can't go wrong. And There's Miami, Miami, 20 years from now. I like it. That's We're going to go to Miami, 20 years from now, and it's going to look nothing like <laughs> you said. I'm going to be exceptionally I'm gonna disappointed. Leave. Just turn around and leave. No, I, it's, I belong there. I am far too cold here. No, we, we live in the Miami of the North, so no one has ever called ever it. Ever called it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go Shindai of Hidden Cruelty. The Spirit cruelty is not in the open. Oh, oh, another mythic, another mythic. Oh, neat, okay. At the beginning of your end step, choose target permanent in your graveyard. You may sacrifice a permanent if it shares a card type with I missed that. It's a long one. Basically, you can take stuff out of your graveyard that would be more valuable than the stuff you have on the battlefield okay. and replace it with that, so that's pretty cool. Oh, kind of like ninja and stuff. Kind of, yeah. Like, right? if the ninjas were all undead and stuff, that's a cool set. Someone do that. Undead, zim undead zombie ninjas. That seems like a good way to that, that does sound like a good way. Or maybe like the next, like, um, um, or, um, what's that called? Is that Times? No, it's not. Where they have the two sets and you jumpstart. Oh, uh, learning. you can mix those. Zombie ninjas. Farewell. I like the art on Farewell. If you look, it's like <laughs> That's kinda neat. she's blowing a flower like a dandelion, but it's not. It's all the souls of little people. It's all human souls. Ah! And there's, that still does not look like a mountain to me. No, it's like a skyscraper. Yeah. I guess, I guess it's, like it's not the mountain. mountains of buildings. Yeah, but like places with mountains also have buildings, and places with buildings can also have mountains. That's, that can't be true. <laughs> People oh, live where they're What? That sounds uh, wrong. Uh, uh, <laughs> Alright, goblins, goblins, goblins. And I'm goblins. The modern age, there's another saga, prosperous thief, there's for knowledge. Enormous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Overhead there's helm. So many ways I can take that. <laughs> um, take it however is the most flattering to you, funny bunny. Are they YouTube or for Yes. No. No. So that's all I'll choose that. All right, there you go. All right, we're we're making progress here. We're, we're doing pretty good. We're a little faster than we were with our first one. I think they'll get a little faster over time as well as we keep going with it. But that's good. And it kind of helps to kind of keep the pace. You're right. We only have one mythic. We have a foil mythic, but that's cool. That's in a different. Uh, I feel like spot. we. I feel like we had been doing better earlier with the last time, but maybe it's just feeling. Uh yeah, I don't remember. You still, maybe. you still don't tell me. Touch the spirit realm, unforgiving one, roadside reliquary. 
Neat. Lion sash. I like these ones because it's an equipment cat, so it's an artifact, but it's also an animal. There's some other ones as well that are like a different type of animal, but also an equipment. I do like the campus. Because that's what the future will be. We'll all be robots and we'll all be animals. Okay. Yeah, prediction made. We just have to wait for several hundred years. years. What kind of animal will I be? I don't know, something that carries an enormous energy blade. I'll be yeah. the chief of the economy. Obviously. Obviously. Fade into antiquity, arm guard, familiar, dragonfly suit. I can't even try that one. All right, what else do we have? I Like the mech hanger, that art looks like some sort of like, what's that freaky video game that you play that's in the, that's in the, it's in the, Space world with many planets. Oh, there's a couple. No Man's Sky, probably. That's the one I'm thinking of. That's what it reminds me of. All the unique planets that are not unique. It reminds me of generators, but it counts. It just reminds me of all the hangers. Yeah, there are. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I know what you mean on the freighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, yeah that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's what that art reminds me I think they're aiming for like a Gundam type. Everyone goes in the big suits. Exactly. They're so big, they go over your head. Okay. I imagine oh. it very deep. Yes. Behold the unspeakable. Don't talk about it. it, it it's unspeakable. It. It's unspeakable. Uh, what else do we have here? Come on! Oh, I see foil. What's the foil? What's the foil? First, you got to go through the rare. Look how yeah. green this card is. So many ages. trees. I know, but there's foil behind it. What is there it? There is. Oh, Uncharted Haven. Haven. Is that kind a of a good common land. Well, it is a land. Yeah. It is a land, and it can produce a. You choose any color. You choose any color, and then it'll produce a uh, mana of the chosen color. So that's pretty cool. Okay. It enters the battlefield tapped, so. Oh, that's handy. It, it, yeah, so well, you right away, right? No, that would be untapped. Oh. If it enters tapped, that means that you can't use it the first turn. So okay. that's a big hold back in a lot of lands. Gotcha. Um, okay. But. Like, you know, for a common hand. land or something like that, especially in a draft, that's that's going to be your land. Okay. That's a foil one, so. You know, Foil's out. helpful. See, I'm learning as a go. Exactly. If you don't want to be dumb, you can let me be dumb first, and then you can learn from my dumb. It's not dumb. It's good learning. You don't know until you're exposed to it. Very true. Thornwood Falls. I don't know what I like. That'd be a bad place to fall into. If you were to pick any of the lands to fall into, the thorn woods would be the. Yeah, I prefer I prefer Miami. Probably, yeah. Not known for its thorn woods, I suppose. No, but for its alligators. Oh, Commando faces Kazakhstan. Oh, Kazakhstan. Hashtag Kazakhstan. Anyone watching from Kazakhstan? Did you heard? <laughs> March of Otherworldly Light. That one has kitty cats. And weird. And it's an instant. Oh, and there's like a frog or a lizard in the back there, and that's pretty good. Oh. And there's another Ooh, foil, Thunder and Raju. Oh, and it has haste. Thunder and Raju did X damage to each opponent, where X, man, I gotta read faster. Well, there, there's a lot of words on the cards there. It's easier when they stay on the screen the whole time, so that's that's a, an important point there. True. But we gotta keep marching on, just keep going. So many cards. Don't pause. So many are good. No pause. Never. The past is the past. We go forward. Fair enough. All right, what do we have in this one since we're going forward? Communing with spirits, lucky offering with kitty cats. Yeah. Uh, more tales of Master Shazir. Oh, shit. Sorry, little Dubby has her contributions. Ooh. Weaver of Harmony. Snake Druid and an enchantment. It's a creature, it's an enchantment, it's an enchantment. Master both worlds. Yeah, or the worst. It means if you have something that can kill an enchantment or a creature, you can then, kill uh, both of those. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. But it could get benefits, it could be downsides. Fair enough. All right, what do we have in this pack? Let's Come see, let's see. Money pack. Money pack. I don't know if we've opened anything that's worth a lot of money not, yet. Not yet. No, none of the mythics that we hit were like super awesome money ones. Not pretty All the little bits add up, but. If you were opening this valuable. to attempt to get your money back, um, we're we, not off to a great yeah. start. Blade Ooh, there's the another Oni. mythic, though, Blade of the Oni, and it's a special order. One. What's Menace? What's oh. Menace do? Uh, so, Menace on a creature is it can only be blocked by two or more creatures, so you can't block it with just one. Oh, okay, okay. I don't so, think I've seen that one before, but. Uh, I think there'd be a few that have Menace, but yeah, probably based on the speed that we're going through, not so much. Okay. Is it, a, is it a fairly common... Um... It's a black thing. So if you have a black card, that's their form of evasion. They'd have okay. one on the other one. So evasion meaning 
you make a creature harder to block so that you can get damage into the opponent. Otherwise, it kind of gums up the board all the time if none of your creatures have some form of evasion, like flying or trample okay. or menace. That's sort of a, the main black one. That makes sense. You're kind of saying, I'm so scary, you guys use more to block me. That makes sense. Ooh, okay, okay here we go. The mirror breaker. We were saying money cards. Here's a money card. This is a good money card. Okay. This is at least a billion Canadian dollars. I think it's like 16 US or something like that at the time of this filming. So okay. that's our money card so far. All right. Also, it's a two-sided one. Too. It's a two-sided one, and it's it's like the best red card ever printed. It kind of does everything: slices, dices, Julians, does your taxes. Nice. What a question. Keep you warm at night. Only at night. Only at night, not during the day. No. It's not that toasty. What do we have in this pack? Ninjas kunai. I think it's kunai. There Someone's going to correct me on every word that I'm saying here, as to because I'm exactly so. pronouncing them. Right. I, well, you just, should. You should. I'm just seven. sounding them out. Guidebot. Doing the best I can. Beep, beep. That reminds me of Zelda with the shrines and the little helpers. Oh, yes, it does. But it's they're the not helpers. They, they want to kill you? Uh, yes, they don't help. No, they, well, help, they, they help, are, help kill you. They're guardians. They're, I, think, oh. I think they're corrupted. I don't know. I never finished the game. That's fair. We should. We should. Well, part of the gaming could be that. Oh, you want to see. Comment if hints. you want to see me try to play that, because I don't... Would you like to see a... I don't think it's like five years old at this point. A five-year-old game? Actually, No, it's not. Time. No way. It's like two. No, I'm pretty sure it's like five. I think you're counting the pandemic as like one day. <laughs> it's all better. Ah, uh, sorry, Captain, Orochi, Merge Keeper. I ganjo. Seat of the Empire. Sounds like a band. That's where the Empire sits down. Hey, it's got to have place. It's legendary. What that Atlanta. tells us is if it can sit down, the Empire has a butt. Gotta touch the butt. Terrarium. Tawashi Song Shaper. Another Kaido's Pursuit. I think we've got like four or five of those already. We have so many lucky offerings, too. There's so many. I'm not disappointed about that. It They're just lucky. increases luck. But it not has, really for us. Not for money. No. If you like cool cards, I think we've got lots of those, but that's I just be because we're all in the Yeah, that's fair. Well, yeah, that's fair. I don't like this one. I find it freaky. That's a freaky area. Uh, Is that pizza legs? Pizza legs? Yeah. I'd like, uh, I might like it now. <laughs> might have had pizza legs. Discover the impossible. That's foily. That's fancy. Um, your favorite land type. Planes. Doesn't look like planes to me. It's not sunny enough. No. They have to be sunny. I feel like a good land must be a sunny plane. That's I know. I, I, know the I can't thing. immediately disagree. Although my favorite I one of the sets is swamp. Yeah. So. Uh, no. It's well. Look, are my planes in your swamp touching? Make a bio. Are you saying you want me to put my swamp in your planes? <laughs> Should this be on YouTube? I don't know what that means. Keep going. Um, okay, now this is odd because this is another blade of the Oni. But it's not the same mythic. art type. It's not the same art type, but the odds of getting the same mythic back, not back to back, I guess, in terms of packs, but as you can see, they're both in the same deck. That's really strange. That's weird. Is one better than the other, or like more valuable than the other? Just I think the, the special right? art is worth a little bit more, but uh, with the newer Magic sets, there's so many different art variations that the prices kind of coalesce in the middle for many of them, unless okay. it's really, really popular for a type of art. And um, that one probably is not. It's, it's sort of, yeah, I, I like the other alternate art, but they're both kind of cool. That's fair. It's Blossom Prancer, there's a little dubby for you. Eater of Virtue. I think that's another type of equipment that we had this as the regular art, and then we had another alternate oh, art. Although this one's just a rare. But Dismal Backwater. That's where we live. That's very much, we live in the Sadly. Dismal Backwater of Canada. Halifax Pride. That's Dismal Backwater. A <laughs> little, little bit. Uh, Scrapyard Steelbreaker. This is why I want to go to, to Hot Miami Lands. 2040. Wait till 2040, 2042. 2042, that 2042. would be 20 years from now, so. That would be. Oh, That's geez. Almost, almost only 19. Almost only 19. Oh, time. Time. It does the thing where it goes on. <laughs> Light pause emperor voice. It looks like a cat, but it's a fox. 
I need like an advisor. Ooh, though. here we go. Here's a here's a foil. Azusa's many journeys. How many journeys? Many. Good. Likeness of the seeker. It's a human monk. Cool. There are very many of those like double sided ones. It makes sense that you've got the as many of the write your own. Yeah, it's kind of a necessary thing when you've got that many uh, cards that you're going to have to actually play in your deck itself. Yeah. Um, it's a good way to indicate which ones they are with a, with the proper magic back. What do we got here? Aki Warpaint. That's an aura. So it's kind of like an equipment, but it's a spell that goes on the creature. Okay, okay. Except it's typically not left on the battlefield after the creature dies. And the, once the creature dies, most of the time the uh, or it's also going to be great here. Okay, maybe that's what I was thinking about when I was asking you about the equipment earlier with the sword. It's one of the key differences, so equipment will stay around. Okay. And, and that kind of makes sense if you think about it, like, you know, when you're dead, the sword will just fall down, but the spell can't fall and be nowhere. Right. Now, sometimes they can, it just depends on what the card says. That's fair. That's sort of a good rule of thumb for magic. There is a card that does the opposite of whatever the standard rule is for everything you can imagine. And if there isn't, wait. There will be there one will at be. some point. Brute suit, debt to Kami, Thermal, Kami. Your favorite. I think that was the first one that we. That was the first one that we've seen so far in this set or in this uh, opening. You should have told the magic gods that you have a more favorite card so that you get you know a hundred of those ones. Mm. If you would said that your favorite was that Kaido's pursuit, then and then I would switch. Won. Right? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, there's another, another one. Yeah. It's a spirit. The Echo of Death's Whale. It's a baller. Blossoming Sands and Lambiadas. It is. The Sands blossom forth as Sands are wont to do. Neat. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Let's see. Shrine Steward. Ooh. Moth Rider Patrol. Tawashi Song Shaper. I think I was for our 19th. Holy cow. Guardians of a Burrow. Special board around it. Oh, was it? Yep. Some of the uh, commons and uncommons that we've been getting get some special borders here too, which I like. Is that useful, special, important? Just, Just makes it pretty? Maybe a different value makes it pretty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So comes on. Crucible of Defiance. Legendary Land. There's another mountain. Yeah. That? It's, I mean... I, I like the art. I do it's, like the art. I just cool. don't see how this mountain... I told, like... I just don't see how that's a mountain. So if you lived in a mountain, would you call that like a skyscraper? Like if you just had a cave in it and you all of it? I, I, I mean, in theory it is. One, right? Yeah. So this is the same. Yeah. I I'm on the card side now. I can't get on board with that. I just can't. Invigorating Hot Springs, Surge, Hacker, Mech. So and that has Menace too. Is this a black card? No, it's not a black card. Nope, that one's a colorless artifact. Okay, so Menace can happen even if it's not a black card. It can, yeah. Uh, a lot of the abilities are on more than one color. Okay. Uh, actually, all of the abilities, I'm sure, appear on more than one color. But colors kind of have, this is a standard ability for this one. And then colors also have abilities that are probably not going to show up on them very often. Gotcha, okay. Um, yeah, there's just like something to their type that... Yeah, like there's not a lot of... Uh, mm -hmm. Flying, I guess, is a bad example of that. There's not a lot of white cards with Menace, okay. for example. Yeah. I'm sure there are some, but, but it's, it's kind of a black... it's common to the, to the... It's part of what can make artifacts really powerful, too, is artifacts can be played with any color. So an ability that's on an artifact, in theory, could give white access to something like Metis or, or something like that. Okay. And usually the penalty that you pay, because that's a really powerful thing, is that the card that's an artifact costs more than, because it's colorless, it could be played with any color, okay. than the colored version of that same card. Fair enough. Okay. The economy of magic. More. That's a lot of a good hashtag. But yes. great here. I, I will try. Vertical. I will try. I'm sure there's a way. Better be. Touch the spirit realm, unforgiving one, containment construct. Kyodai. Kyodai, soul of Kamigawa. What's flash? Uh, flash means that even though it's not an instant, you can cast it anytime you could cast an instant. Oh. So it's a creature that could come down on your opponent's turn, anything like that. Neat. Oh, yeah, that's handy. Cool. Alright, speaking of instant, we just got one, and there's our Forest. That right. one's a forest, yeah. The green tree of growth. Very foresty. I don't think we got many forest lands so far. 
I think we've got one or two in this box, but uh, yeah, I've seen more mountains and swamps, I think. And like a handful of plains. Someone in the comments count it for us and put down how many of each. That would be helpful. Kazakhstan! Kazakhstan representation. True to my heart. True to my people. Here's your back hanger. Soul River. Ooh. So this one's an artifact, but it is black. Okay. And you can tell because it's it black one. casting cost. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Blossoming Sands. Man, I don't know. We're not getting. Uh, from a value perspective, this box is having its way with us. Yeah, yeah. I would agree. We did get that cool red card, the one with the value, uh, that I'm blanking on the name right now. But uh, that one's expensive. The Kiki Jinky Mirror Breaker copy one. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is hurting so far. But uh, we still have some left, so we still have some left. There's still like a third the box, I think. Okay, fair enough. And one one slash. can hope we're gonna need it too. Risona. Risotto. Yeah, that's what it kind of looked like. Do we have color Yeah. Oh. That's handy. Good budget options. Yeah. They are handy. Same thing, they're budget options. They just can't have a lot of value because they come in tapped. You don't really have control over that, unfortunately. Gotcha. If you can have a two or more colored land enter the battlefield untapped, that typically makes the land quite expensive. That makes sense. And usually there's another penalty to be able to do that too. I just thought they were the opposite, and that's why I was like, tap on tap, and I got that's that fair. confused. All right, we do have a foil behind this one. We do. It's a cool border foil too. I don't Ooh. remember what it is. Oh, Dokuchi Silencer, also not uncommon. Interesting. I like the art. That's kind of cool. Not usually one for... Ooh, it has the ninjutsu. It does. So it's a ninja? It is, in fact, a ninja, I believe. I don't think there's ninjutsu in anything that isn't a ninja, so... That, that would make sense. Make sense. Yeah. yeah. How does one get it without having ninja? Is there a card that gives that ability to anything that wasn't a ninja before? That'd be a cool card. There might be. If there isn't, I've just given everyone a great idea. Yeah, Someone I guess make so. that card. Watsi, get on it. Heiko Yamazaki, the general. I gotta say, she doesn't look like a general. Nope. Not at all. Kura, the Boundless Sky. Oh, another mythic, another mythic. Big dragon spirit. I know what Death Touch is. Oh, you can choose one. Two cool options, that's handy. There's my Miami. Welcome to Miami. Bienvenido a Miami. Indeed it is. You have to say it higher pitched though. I was questioning whether I remembered my Spanish well enough to... If you remember that, then I'll remember to do the Will Smith laugh. Ha ha! That helped. Great. Yay! I think the laugh brought it up. Do it more. <laughs> no. No. No, I liked it. <clears throat> the Zumi Prowler Go Shintai of Shared Purpose. Go no Shared Purpose? Shared Purpose. That is what it said. Avenger. Kitty Cat? Ninja? He's like a flower, but Insect also, uh, ninja? Oh, I think he's like a praying mantis. Oh. Some of them look like flowers. I don't know how to look like a kitty cat. Yeah, kind of have a kitty cat face. But he's not. He's an insect. You know? Well, my guy was fine as wrong. Or, or cats insects all along. They hide their other legs. That explains why. I knew it. That's why ours stinks. Because <laughs> insects stink? Well, I don't get close enough to smell them, so they could. Well, they might. Tammy, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, Larry, you selfless samurai. There's a foxy fox. Yeah, fox samurai. With lots of tails. Go Shintai of Lost Wisdom, of Ancient Wars, Lizard Blades. Ooh. Double Strike. What's Double Strike? Uh, so Double Strike's kind of cool. You know what First Strike is? Where yeah. you attack before the other creatures? Yeah. Double Strike means that you have First Strike and you do regular combat damage. Oh, can you, so you can do double? You do double. So first. So if it was like a two-two, you can beat like four-four. Uh, well, it's still a two on the defense. It's oh, kind oh. of like it hits with four on its power, but first it will do two first strike damage. Yeah. And then it will be two regular damage if it's still alive to be able to do that, and presumably it is. Gotcha. That's neat. So it hits on both of those attacks. So yeah, so it ends up being a four-two if the other person can't completely kill it. Uh, that's right. Yeah, it kind of does four damage in that sense. Neat. Neat. Okay. Ooh, foil. Oh, another foil rare. This is bad. I think this means that we got two foil rares and a foil mythic. That's not bad. 
And that was a vehicle as well. Yeah, that's what I saw. So it sits on the battlefield until you pay its crew cost, which is tapping creatures with a power equal to the crew cost, okay. typically. And then that means that it becomes a creature. And it's like the creature that you tapped is driving the vehicle, if that makes sense. Oh. Or the creatures, if it... You could use like four one ones to pay a crew cost of four, for okay. example. Okay, I can grasp that. Tales of Master Shiro, Generous Visitor, that thing is still creepy. It Wait. is creepy, but less creepy than whatever that deer one was. It just Dark reminds me of the, like, of the chipmunks. Christmas Thousand Christmas. Face Shadow. Oh, I like the giant faces coming off of it. That one has Ninjutsu as well. It does, and that's a human ninja. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. That's included barons. That's a freaky looking. Of your own barons. So I think we're done here. Oh, shoot. We just go through the mythics as well again. So we got our two Blade of the Onis, a Kura the Boundless Sky. So we ended up with four mythics and then a foil mythic. That's an average box. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I was I was treated by the first box. Yeah, that. our first box was good. This one, I'll be honest, we lost all our money. Um, but everyone, thanks for letting us do this for you. Yeah, that was fun. A good reminder to not always open boxes and expect to get the value out of it. Financially, it doesn't happen, but the cards are fun to play with. Well, and that helped me learn a lot about, uh, especially about the different types of, like, um, What's it called? Like attack mechanisms, but like what's the? Uh, so you've got keywords, which would be the words that are actually there, but your different attack. What would be the word for that be? Mechanism is a good word. No. Mechanics. No, but I feel like there's actually a word for that where it's like, this is, it's like haste. Uh, so haste would be a keyword. That is a keyword? That is a keyword. Oh, okay. So the keywords are so no keywords today. That they aren't defined. Like, like you don't need the definition there from it. They are defined behind the scenes, but gotcha. It's just kind of like word. in crowd instead knowledge. Instead of a, well, so instead of saying that, uh, instead of explaining first strike on the card every time, which would take up a whole a bunch lot, of stage, yeah. you can just say that whole step is called first strike. Yeah. So it's like you plug in that little piece of the program. All right. So I learned. There you go. There we go. I hope you all learned too. Yeah. And I hope you enjoy this box opening. Uh, I'll be honest, financially this one was terrible, so I think we're going to have to go out and open another one. Yeah, that sounds like a really smart decision. Let's do it. If, if it didn't work the first time, but that's the rule that you're all meant to follow. Keep doing exactly the same thing until you make your money back. That's a good rule, right? Yes! We'll do it. <laughs> all right. Well, come, come, come back, see us again, and most importantly, remember, like, subscribe, comment. Turn on the notifications when, so that you know when our next one is. Yes, so then you can hit that little more. bell so it goes dingle dingle, and yeah. then when it dingle dingles, come and watch the dingle dingle. With your Pringle Pringles. That almost makes sense. We'll end this before it gets weirder. All bye. right, bye!